This could be a Christmas advert for any brand, but actually, something like this is rarely seen. The dog is an assistance dog, and most of the actors have disabilities. The difference is hard to spot, and that's the point. The message in it has nothing to do with disability, necessarily. The message is, um, if you can give anything at Christmas, give your time. Um, and we just so happen to use a cast of both disabled and non-disabled actors. Coronation Street star Melissa Johns helped come up with the advert and is one of its stars. The argument is quite often, a lot of the time, um, we need a big name in it, we need it, that's why we couldn't have a disabled actor. Um, but the problem with that is, if we continue to think like that, well, we're never going to break it, are we? It's attitudes like this that Melissa and her co-star Cheryl Lee are trying to address. We're going to talk through uh, the way, just very, very briefly, the way that today's going to work. This is Dank, a group they set up to challenge ideas about disability in film and TV. Yeah, I had auditions taken off me once they discovered I was disabled. I've auditioned in streets, in corridors. I've had um, a mat in the disabled toilet as my green room. I. Yeah, and it, it makes you feel quite isolated, and also you're often the only one. So it's that thing of coming together to create a community so you don't have to feel like the isolated and the one who makes the change anymore, because we do it collectively. Nearly 100 actors have come here to their event in London today, including Julian Peedle Callow, who starred in programmes like Holby City. After 15 years working in London, he's seen some changes, but not enough. Disabled people are often hidden and invisible. You know, how often do you see a deaf actor just in the story it's you know it's like once a year maybe but I want to be seen as an actor who happens to be deaf just you know I could be a deaf doctor or a deaf scientist or a deaf policeman or a deaf whatever I can be anything they're hoping in the future scenes like this will become the norm and not just for Christmas Katie Barnfield ITV News